Good afternoon, I am Arnaud Ramisa and I will present the Find Descriptor, a fast 3D descriptor to characterize textile objects for robot manipulation. Uh, I work on uh, manipulation of garments by a robotic hand and, and specifically the perception for, for this. And this is a very difficult task uh, because uh, garments have a very large state space uh, since they are highly deformable and uh, modeling them is, is very challenging. And on top of that, they also have uh, a wide variation of appearance, so that might pose a, a very difficult challenge for visual descriptors such as the, the SIFT. However, uh, recently there has been the introduction of uh, accurate and inexpensive 3D sensors like the Microsoft Kinect. Uh, and this uh, gave us the possibility of using also depth information uh, with our methods. Uh, the introduction of these new 3D cameras has led to the development of many new 3D descriptors such as the fast point feature histogram or the shot. Uh, however, most of the current uh, 3D descriptors are very computationally expensive because they require finding uh, neighbor points uh, in unstructured point clouds. And also they require that each descriptor computes a, a, in a reference frame to gain invariance to viewpoint. However, on the other hand, robotic applications usually require a fast perception action cycle, which these descriptors are not able to fulfill. Uh, as I said before, we work on manipulation of garments, and this is our setup. We have this WAM robotic arm and the table with the objects lying on top, and also we have this Kinect camera mounted on the ceiling with a zenithal view of the table. And we notice that uh, this uh, uh, experimental scenario allows for some key simplifications, uh, in the first place, we deal with the structured point clouds coming from the Kinect and uh, since there are no strong depth discontinuities in our scenes, uh, we can assume that the neighborhood imposed by the range image is actually sound and neighboring pixels are actually neighboring points in reality. Also, since manipulation is tied to a viewpoint, we don't really need full invariance to viewpoint and the small degree of, of robustness to viewpoint change that we require, we can get it through machine learning on top of the descriptors, not at the descriptor level. Uh, so we propose a method that is based on the surface orientations, uh, the distribution of surface, surface orientations around the point of interest, and to get these surface orientations we use the, the normals that can be densely extracted using integral images very fast for every point in the image. So the gist of our method is the following, we have a range image that comes from the Kinect, then we compute the normals that we can see uh, coded in RGB here. And then uh, we select the point and uh, we compute the distribution of the orientations of these normals uh, in an area around this point of interest that we have defined. Uh, then some technical questions arise, like which is the best representation for the normal orientation? One straightforward solution would be to use spherical coordinates, as has been done in, in previous work. However, spherical coordinates have some undesirable properties like the fact that regions or beams defined near the equator are usually much larger than, or actually are always much larger than, than beams defined near the North Pole. And also that the, these beams near the North Pole have a huge uh, risk of, of uh, corruption by noise, so you may end up having a, a lot of aliasing uh, when you vote in a histogram. In order to solve for these problems, we changed this approach and instead used quasi-equidistant beams in Cartesian coordinates and we assigned the, pixel, uh, sorry, the, the normals to a particular beam based on, on Euclidean distance. Um, <coughs> also, uh, in order to further um, reduce the effects of aliasing, we allow for soft boating so each normal votes for up to four uh, beans that are the four closest ones and the votes are normalized by interbean distance so the, the closest ones will get more weight than the further away ones as is done in many other descriptors um, then a key uh, factor for our descriptor is that we can use integral images to accumulate the votes for each subregion so we only need four operations uh, for each subregion of each descriptor once the integral images are computed. And this allows us to, to extract the descriptor really fast, uh, regardless of the region size, the support region size that we define. 
and as we will see later having a, a large support region is also key to have good performance in, in our task so uh, we wanted to evaluate the proposed descriptor and for that we have defined several experiments uh, that are related to, to perception for cloth manipulation first we have done some computational efficiency assessment uh, just to see how fast is, is really our descriptor then we have proposed some and, and realized some wrinkle retrieval experiment then we have done a Garmin recognition which is basically Garmin classification uh, in six categories and finally we have an informed grasping point selection uh, for uh, picking up uh, polo shirts so the first results are on computational efficiency as you can see here uh, B stands for the number of beans of our descriptor as you can see find is up to two orders of magnitude faster than shot and fast point feature histograms which are two state-of-the-art descriptors at the moment um, then the next experiment is the wrinkle retrieval experiment we have constructed uh, a small data set of uh, manually produced wrinkles in a polo shirt and we have annotated the area where the wrinkle uh, is happening and we have selected the, the central point, the, the, the center of gravity of this annotated region as the representative for, for this particular wrinkle and image and then uh, we have also extracted 100 random points inside of the annotated region and then by turn we have uh, seen uh, how well did each um, a representative point reorder the list of all the points extracted from the annotated regions and computed the mean average precision that you can see in the in the table here as you can see the performance of find is comparable to to the FPF and shot and as we increase the the region size the results also improve above the the results of the other descriptors uh, we can also notice that uh, 13 uh, beans are sufficient to get the best performance and actually uh, having more than, than 13, uh, the next level is 41 uh, we actually suffer a decrease in performance that is probably attributable to aliasing however when we allow for soft boating we can see this uh, drop in performance corrected and the performance is the same as with uh, only 13 beans then the next results are for Garmin recognition we had uh, a data set uh, with uh, six types of objects namely shirts, polo shirts uh, sorry t-shirts, polo shirts, shirts, jeans, hoods uh, well sweaters with hood and uh, dresses and we have uh, conducted an experiment pretty much like the Pascal visual, visual object challenge uh, competition uh, where we uh, trained uh, um, non-linear chi-square support vector machine classifier uh, for each of the categories and we computed the mean average precision that uh, we could get in a test set as we can see the performance of the find is pretty similar to the other 3D descriptors that are, are much more expensive to compute and in some categories it e even manages to outperform the, the, uh, the other descriptors the last experiment is informed grasping point selection in a previous work we have defined a, a method to detect the color of a polo shirt and uh, uh, first uh, in this experiment first we use it to detect the, the polo color uh, but then we want to execute a task that consists on grasping the polo and hanging it in a hook near the table uh, so this task is made much more easy if we are able to detect a, a point placed uh, particularly in the lapel of the polo shirt and to do that we train a classifier using uh, the script, uh, find descriptors coming from the lapel and not coming from the lapel, lapel for negative uh, training data and then we evaluate it in all the points inside of the of the detected region for the color and uh, select the, the one with the highest score as the final grasping point uh, in the pictures you can see the, the detected regions uh, red meaning uh, that they are the, the classifier is more confident and black meaning that it is less confident and finally the the final grasping point is this white cross <coughs> we did uh, 23 repetitions where the the color was properly detected and in 82% uh, or almost 83% of the cases 
we could determine a, a point that was correctly located in the lapel using the classifier that that we have trained and uh, finally just uh, mention that this here is a case in which the point is not correctly located in the lapel so it's a failure case of the classifier so uh, to conclude we have presented a novel shape descriptor for textile manipulation that has competitive performance with other state-of-the-art approaches such as the fast point feature histogram or the shot uh, but it has a much smaller computation time thanks to uh, some key simplifications that we were able to make uh, given our uh, particular setup characteristics thank you for listening goodbye